Yo, what is good everybody? dusty 4 kicks here. Welcome back to the channel. Feel free to show your love by hitting that subscribe button and the thumbs up button down below. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to check out any of my other channels, hit up my Instagram and my Reddit. Today we got a pair of kicks from a son named Yeezy Queen, aka Jordan's Fight. Gonna link the information right there so you can check them out. The pair we're checking out today is actually a really crazy one and it's gonna be the Nike Dunk Green Lobster. Super sick colorway, let's go ahead and check them out. All right guys, so a little history. First, Concepts, the brand, collaborated with Nike SB to come out with the Red Lobster Dunks and that was back in 08. Shortly after that, in 09, they came out with the Blue Lobsters as well as the Friends and Family Yellow Lobsters. Then in 2018, they came out with the Purple Lobsters and then right after that, they came out with these, which are the Green Lobster Dunk Lows. If you didn't watch my review on the Purple Lobsters, first off, what's wrong with you? Why, why, why didn't you watch it? And second off, in that video, I said I wanted to get all of them. I want to get the green ones, the red ones, the blue ones, the purple ones, and I haven't seen reps of the yellow ones, but if they're out there, I want a pair. Prices on these have skyrocketed, shocker there, just like all dunks these days, they go for crazy amounts, but these to me will always be a timeless classic. I don't know about you guys, but green shoes just hit different to me. Let's go ahead and check out the details. So the upper is pretty much comprised of all kinds of different shades of green. So back here, you got this darker shade right here and it's a little faded looking. I wanna say this is Nubuck or Durabuck, not 100% sure. A Little bit of movement, but nothing crazy like suede would have. And if you look closer, there's these little speckles that are darker and stand out. That's to kind of mimic the dots that you see on actual real live lobsters. So that's a pretty cool little detail that I'm pretty sure all the lobster dunks actually have. Then you got this really nice metallic swoosh in green not reflective, but definitely really, really shiny. Hits nice in the light and the sun, trying to get that for you guys. And you can see that swoosh is outlined with another white one. Side panel is a different shade of green, hard to pick up on camera, a little darker and less faded. Also seems to be a little bit softer than this. I don't know, might just be me. Then you go back to that faded one right there around the leather on the toe box. And then you can see there's still a little bit of speckles, just not as much as the back. Midsole, you can see is black. And then the stitching is actually the lime green, which brings us to the soles, which is also that nice lime green color with a Nike hit right there on the center. Toe box, you got that same shade of green and material that you have for the side panels, new buck or whatever it is. And then you come up here, you got these like, I wanna say it's like a forest green kind of shade for the laces. But if you don't like those, it also comes with pink laces and black laces, as well as the rubber bands that are meant to mimic the ones that they put on actual real life lobster claws. And those come in gray and like a navy blue. Then you can see the tongue is one of the only things on the shoe that isn't a shade of green. And it's a nice white padded tongue, super, super padded, just like retail. Then tongue tag goes back to green. It's that lime green that kind of matches the sole and then Nike, the check, and SB in white. Then if we come to the insole, you can see it's the same pattern that's on all the other lobster dunks. And it's the one that's supposed to mimic the picnic table or maybe the bib or napkin that they give you when you go to like a seafood restaurant and stuff like that. Come over to the back, you can see that lime green sole, the black midsole with the lime green stitching. You can see the more faded green material right here with the black speckles or darker green speckles, whatever we wanna say. Then there's more green here. And then you got the heel tab right here that's a little softer in my opinion. And then it's got Nike embroidery right there in white. Medial side, you still got that nice faded Nubuck or Durabuck or whatever it is. You can see there's some more speckling right there. That's pretty nice. You got the metallic green swoosh that just shines amazingly with the outline in white. The softer, different shade of green for the side panels. And then back to that faded green around the toe box. You still got the black midsole, as well as the green or lime green for the stitching and lime green for the sole with the Nike hit right there in the middle. Right shoe, everything mirrors the other one where you got the nice faded green around the toe box, as well as right here in the back and above here. 
You got the nice metallic green swoosh, has a nice little curve and comes to a point up here that's nice. Then outlined in white. Side panel, a little softer in my opinion, different shade of green than right here. Black midsole with the lime green stitching, as well as the lime green soles with the Nike hit on the center. Toe box, you got the same green that you have on the side panels. Laces, like I said, the forest green, but you also have some options to pick from. Foam white tongue, super padded, really, really nice. Nike tongue tag saying Nike SB with the swoosh in white. And so we already talked about it, but it's the print that you would get on the picnic table or the bib or napkin from something like seafood restaurants. Backside, again, you got that nice faded green with the speckles right here, green and green here, and then the Nike embroidery looks pretty centered. Nothing I can complain about. Then last but not least, you got the medial side of the right shoe. Nice faded green right here. You got some movement right there. A little bit of speckles as well. A nice metallic green swoosh that just shines amazingly and I love it. With the outline in white, like a chalk line when somebody dies. You got the side panels right here with the softer and different shade of green. And then to wrap it up on the upper, you got the faded green right here for the leather around the toe box. And then to cap off the whole shoe, you got the black midsole with the green stitching and then the green or lime green soles with the Nike hit right there on the center. So like I said, guys, I am going crazy over these shoes. I really do like these and I'm stoked to get some on foot shots for you guys on my Instagram. All right, fam, I think that's about it for today. I appreciate you stopping by the channel and hanging out for a bit. Until next time, I'm Dusty4Kicks. Peace.